Is everybody in? Is everybody in? Is everybody in? The ceremony is about to begin. Shake dreams from your hair, my pretty child, my sweet one. Choose the day and choose the sign of your day, the day's divinity. First thing you see. A vast, radiant beach and a cool, jeweled moon. Couples naked race down by its quiet side. And we laugh like soft, mad children smug in the woolly cotton brains of infancy. The music and voices are all around us. Enter again the sweet forest, enter the hot dream, come with us. Everything is broken up in dances. Scattered on dawn's highway bleeding, ghosts crowd the young child's fragile eggshell mind. Me and my uh, mother and father and a grandmother and a grandfather were driving through the desert at dawn. And a truckload of Indian workers had either hit another car or just, I don't know what happened. But there were Indians scattered all over the highway, bleeding to death. So the car pulls up and stops. That was the first time I tasted fear. I must have been about four. Like a child, it's like a flower. His head is just floating the breeze, man. The reaction I get now, thinking about it, looking back, is that the souls or the ghosts of those dead Indians, maybe one or two of them, were just running around, freaking out, and just leaped into my soul. And they're still there.
A military station in the desert. Can we resolve the past, lurking jaws, joints of time, the base, to come of age in a dry place, holes and caves? My friend drove an hour each day from the mountains. The bus gives you a hard-on with books in your lap. Someone shot the bird in the afternoon dance show. They gave out free records to the best couple. Spades dance best from the hip. The music was new, black, polished chrome and came over the summer like liquid night. The DJs took pills to stay awake and play for seven days. They went to the studio and someone knew him. Someone knew the TV showman. He came to our homeroom party and played records and when he left in the hot noon sun and walked to his car, we saw the Chukes had written F-U-C-K on his windshield. He wiped it off with a white rag and smiling coolly drove away. He's rich, got a big car. My gang will get you. Scenes of rape in the Arroyo. Seductions in cars, abandoned buildings. Fights at the food stand. Dust. Dust, 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 dust. The shoes. Open shirts and raised collars. Bright sculptured hair. This place has everything. Come on, I show you. Resident Mockery, give us an hour for magic. We of the purple glove, we of the starling flight and velvet hour, we of Arabic pleasures breed, we of sundom in the night. Give us a creed to believe, a night of lust. Give us trust in the night. Give of color hundred hues, a rich mandala for me and you. And for your silky pillowed house, a head, wisdom, and a bed. Troubled decree, resolute mockery has claimed thee. We used to believe in the good old days. We still receive in little ways the things of kindness and unsporting brow forget and allow.
Did you know freedom exists in a school book? Did you know madmen are running our prison within a jail, within a gale, within a white free Protestant maelstrom? We're perched headlong in the edge of boredom. We're reaching for death on the end of a candle. We're trying for something that's already found us. Wow, I'm sick of doubt. Live in the light of certain south cruel bindings. The servants have the power. Dog men and their mean women pulling poor blankets over our sailors. I'm sick of dour faces staring at me from the TV tower. I want roses in my garden bower, dig. Royal babies, rubies, must now replace aborted strangers in the mud. These mutants, blood meal for the plant that's plowed. They are waiting to take us into the severed garden. You know how pale and wanton thrillful comes death in a strange hour, unannounced, unplanned for, like a scaring, over-friendly guest you've brought to bed. Death makes angels of us all and gives us wings where we had shoulders smooth as raven's claws. No more money, no more fancy dress. This other kingdom seems by far the best until its other jaw reveals incest and loose obedience to a vegetable law. I will not go. Prefer a feast of friends to a giant family.